Movies. Oh. Music. Hello. Hi. Greetings. Well, folks, it looks like Costco is going into this holiday shopping season full force. And once again, they have surprised me by dropping this brand new offering for the home theater space. You may already be familiar with the Klipsch Cinema 600 3.1 soundbar system, as well as the Klipsch Cinema 800 soundbar system. But now Costco has decided to squeeze in there and get the Cinema 700. What the heck does that mean? What's the difference between all these soundbars? Let's find out. So as you can see here, the Klipsch Cinema 700 3.1 Dolby Atmos soundbar plus surround sound system is available for purchase for Costco members, $649.99. That is a great deal, and here's why. Just as a refresher, I'm gonna go over the differences between the 600 and the 800. Okay, so on the left is the Cinema 600 specs, on the right is the Cinema 800. As you can see, speaker system, the 600 has a 45 inch soundbar, whereas the 800 is a 48 inch. Three inches, eh, not too much of a difference there. Max acoustic output, 103 decibels versus 107 decibels. Both systems have three one inch tweeters and four three inch high output oval fiber composite cone woofers. Both have a 10 inch downward firing subwoofer. Both are made of wood. The Cinema 600 has a system power of 600 watts, whereas the 800 has 800 watts. Makes sense. That's why they call it the Cinema 600 and Cinema 800. Frequency response is the same, 28 hertz to 20 kilohertz. Now here's a little bit of a difference. The Cinema 600 has HDMI ARC, whereas the Cinema 800 has HDMI E ARC. And the 800 also has two additional HDMI inputs, so you can plug in a Blu-ray player or a gaming system straight into the soundbar. You do not have that luxury with the Cinema 600. Both systems still have 3.5 millimeter analog and optical digital. One feature that is also in both the 600 and the 800 that I really like is the fact that the wireless subwoofers have subwoofer out ports, which means you can add one more subwoofer to the system. I'm pretty sure Klipsch is the only company out there that offers this in their line of soundbars, the option to add an additional subwoofer. So I really like that feature because as you know, I do love two subwoofers in a system just to even things out a bit. Now one pretty big difference between the 600 and the 800 is the fact that the 800 has built-in Wi-Fi, which works with Google Assistant, Amazon Alexa, Spotify Connect. So that way you can include your Cinema 800 into your existing smart home ecosystem. So that's pretty cool. Another big difference you can see here is the fact that the Cinema 800 features HDCP 2.3 for 8K HDR video pass-through, which means that it is much more future-proof than the Cinema 600. So way in the future, when you decide to get an 8K TV, you know that your Clips Cinema 800 can support that. And since the Cinema 800 has eARC, that means it supports Dolby Atmos decoding, as you can see here, up to 7.1.4. But not only that, because it is eARC compatible, that also means you can get true uncompressed audio from a source like an Xbox Series X or a PS5 or a 4K Blu-ray player plugged directly into the soundbar. Since the Cinema 600 is only ARC compatible, that only supports compressed audio coming out of the soundbar, which is fine if you're just utilizing the apps on your smart TV to watch Netflix and HBO or Disney Plus. But if you like to watch physical media on your 4K Blu-ray player, for example, only the Cinema 800 can handle that bit perfect audio from your 4K Blu-ray player. So that's just quickly going over the difference between the 600 and the 800. Now, what the heck is the 700 specs? Okay, now we're looking at the 700 and 800 specs and oh my gosh, they're the same. 48 inches, 107 decibels, three tweeters, four mid-range woofers, 10 inch downward firing subwoofer, made of wood, 800 watts, 28 hertz to 20 kilohertz, HDMI e arc, two HDMI inputs, Bluetooth 3.5 optical, subwoofer output. It's basically a Cinema 800. But if we look online real quick, huh, the Cinema 700 is $649, whereas the Cinema 800 is 969. 
But the other big thing, uh-oh, the Cinema 800 is temporarily out of stock. In fact, I am not even sure if the Cinema 800 has been available. Can somebody comment below to tell me if it's been available already, if it's just out of stock, or if it hasn't even been released to the public yet? Either way, if you've been waiting for the Cinema 800 because you don't want to fork over the additional cash for the Cinema 1200, but you still want eARC, now you can technically get a Cinema 800, but it's just called the Cinema 700 at Costco if you're a Costco member. What? So there you have it, folks. Once again, Costco surprises me with this bombshell, letting us know that the Cinema 800, which isn't even available right now, can actually be purchased under a different name at Costco. What else are you gonna spring on me, Costco? Anywho, if this is something you're wanting to get this holiday season, you should probably jump on it now because supplies are running low and very limited because of all the supply chain problems that are happening around the globe. This is going to be a very interesting holiday shopping season because of all the delays. So the fact that you can get a Cinema 700 right now on Costco.com, you should probably do that because they might run out quick and who knows when they're gonna get that second wave of shipments. So yeah, just wanna let you know, is this something you even care about? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to be kind to each other out there, especially during the holiday shopping season. Don't just watch TV and movies, experience them. And of course, always be listening.